be in the hundreds or what the temperatures will be, yeah. but uh, no doubt as they start to train, it's going to be pretty warm out there, Allison. And uh, you do have some good news, though. There is a potential, can I say it, 90s? 90. Maybe? Yes! Oh. In our forecast? Nice. Yes, nice. I'll let you take it away. As long as it's out of the triple digits, that will actually be breaking this heat wave, which would be great today, actually marking day 20 of consecutive triple digit heat. We are also feeling very uncomfortable outside due to smoke that's making its way into the county. Hazy conditions. You can't even see the mountains looking out of our roof cam. But we are still in the triple digits here in the valley. 101 degrees in Bakersfield. The high today, actually 102. 98 up in Lake Isabella and 106 in California City right now. And we are feeling a breeze making its way into the county, not dropping temperatures and not helping out to clear out this air quality, but bringing in more smoke into the county. And unfortunately, the air quality warning that is in effect across Central California affecting all of Kern County. And this will be in effect until those fires like the Ferguson fire has been extinguished. And that also brings up some health problems, especially for older adults and children. So just be a avoiding any prolonged exposure of this heat as well as bad air quality that is stagnant here, especially in the valley. So technically tomorrow our air quality is back down to the moderate range, but that is just one point away from unhealthy for sensitive groups. We will have an AQI of 100 tomorrow, and it looks like it will be hanging out right on the border of moderate and unhealthy for sensitive groups as we head into the rest of the week. But monsoonal moisture is back, especially to the Sierras to our north. That's where most of the thunderstorms storms have been taking place, but it does look like there's a little bit for us here in Bakersfield. But as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday, we will be seeing that uh, thunderstorm chances mostly in our desert cities in Ridgecrest and just east of the Kern River Valley. But as for temperatures, well, the triple digits here to stay as we begin August on Wednesday, 103 as a high, but starting Thursday and Friday, temperatures are slowly going to be cooling down. Sunday looks to be the day that we could be breaking this heat wave right on the border of 199 degrees and that will be continuing as we head into early next week as well. This high pressure finally pushing off to our east, making way for a disturbance to be pushing down from the Pacific Northwest. Kern River Valley going to have a 20% chance of those thunderstorms tomorrow, continuing into Wednesday, but then clearing up sunwise. But te temperature is still going to be right on the border of 199 degrees to Hatchby. We'll be dropping down to those upper 80s by the weekend as well as Fraser Park. So thankfully some temperature relief on the way, but unfortunately this smoke is here to stay with bad air quality. So try to be staying inside, maybe run on a treadmill instead of. <laughs> but, but maybe yeah. 90s yes. Yes. later on. Yes, that's the silver lining yeah. right now. We're yes. hoping Sunday, but it looks like it could be carrying over into early next week. Mm. All right. We're